Aloha from LA. Hey, what's up, man? That explains the hat and the shirt. But this is why I like um, Facebook Live. I was going to say the other live broadcast uh, app. Because you get the real person on the other side. I mean, you know, there's no do-overs. You know, let me let me record it. Let me uh, brush up a, a few things. No, this is as if we're talking face-to-face -face right now. You get the hash look that you get. You get all the mistakes I make. I look at my videos. I watch them afterwards and I'm just cracking up because I'm like, did you realize what you said? I mean, I'm telling myself like, ah, you fobbed out. Anyways, you get the message, but... That's the good thing about these live broadcasts because, hi Lindy, we need more authenticity, no filters. You get all those filters and you know, the person looks like something in their profile pictures and then you see them in real life, you're like, wait a minute, that doesn't really look like you, you know what I mean? But that goes in all aspects, we need more authenticity. So, hey Cora, welcome. All right, so today's topic. Kaisa, <laughs> are you still on Maui? If so, Maui no ka'oi. Hope you're having fun, Kaisa. Thanks for joining me. One of the greatest gifts that you can give. Oh, sorry. One more time. If you're just joining me, my name is Billy Toilolo. I do these Monday through Friday. Saturdays, maybe. I did one last Saturday just because, I, you know, something popped up. I wanted to share it. Sundays are his day. But um, if you like this, if you get value out of this, which I hope you do, Please share this. Thank you for the likes and the hearts. I can see it. I like the interaction. It just lets me know someone else is out there. I was just talking about authenticity. But it lets me know that I'm talking to someone out there. No, I know that a lot more people see it on on the um, replays. Anyways, one of the greatest gifts you can give. Attention is the purest form of generosity. Now, again, these are not my sayings. I'm, I'm, I'm not like this all-knowing being this is something that i'm learning that i'm sharing with you okay i am not even close to being perfect so when i share these things it's because it's something i'm learning i'm trying to better myself that hopefully i can share that you can better yourself too that's what it's all about quality time improves relationships and this one i really liked i don't know who said this if you, you find out who says this i'll give total credit to them but this is the greatest gift you could give someone is your time because when you dedicate your time you're offering a part of your life that you will never get back i'm going to re repeat that because i like it so much the greatest gift you can give someone is your time because when you dedicate your time you're offering a part of your life that you will never get back so um that's what today's topic is <laughs> and that's because i play i am playing mr mom so i'm going to go back to giving my children quality time just a few minutes just to share with other people. It's okay. Sometimes people need that break anyways, right? Sometimes we as adults need that break. So anyways, don't worry. I'll get right back to them. They can yell at me and not yell at me, but cry over each other fighting and and um, saying, oh, they took my toy and, you know, all that stuff. I was told, because, okay, let me tell you another reason why. When I used to sit with my family in, in sacrament meeting in, in church, I, I made it a habit to apologize to the, the people in the row in front of me and behind me because I know my children are loud. I mean, there's there are seven children. If you know any seven children that can sit together for 70 minutes, 60 plus minutes and not argue, not fight or not get into it, please let me know because I have a lot to learn from them. And so do our children. But what I'm trying to say is I apologize to everybody around me. And, you know, this one family was visiting. I forgot where from from where they were from. They were older folks and all their children are older and, you know, moved out, have their own families. And they said, enjoy it because one day you're going to miss it. I'm like, enjoy it. I'm not even close to enjoying these kids right now. You know what I mean? But I know what they mean. I know. What I understand. So that's why today's topic. Okay, getting back to it. There are a few steps that I want to share that I found online. It's on parentfurther.com. I mean, you can look this up yourselves. You can Google it. There's a lot of things out there, but this is something I learned, so I want to share with you. Parentsfurther.com. All right. <laughs> Some more words. Get it, get it all the time. And they love you too, Auntie Tina. Number one, designate a regular family time as part of your routine. Some families have a weekly family night. I know that we do. We choose Monday nights. Um, your family may choose something else. Growing up, 
it was it was more convenient to have our family nights on Sunday nights. Of course, it limited what we would do, but designate a weekly family nights. Others have a monthly family outing. Others have a daily family check-in during dinner or before bed. But figure out a routine that works best for you and your family. Number two, have fun together. Do activities that make you laugh and enjoy being together. Some families play sports together. Others tell jokes. Others have special nights for watching movies or playing board games. Again, whatever works best for your family is the best. There's no Monday night more convenient. Cool. There's no umbrella like, oh, if you don't tell jokes at the dinner table, your family's not all that. No, it's whatever works for your family. And you know it works because you end up doing it more and more, right? Get your kids input on how to spend family time. You may be surprised to learn that they want to go out more as a family or they want to stay home more as a family. So it's good to see what they like. It's all about them, right? Kids often have good ideas. I'm not saying let them run you over and let them rule you. I mean, we joke, oh yeah, that she's the boss. You know, that's the bossy one. But really, they look up to you for guidance, but it doesn't hurt to get their input. If you belong to a faith community, which I do, and once again, this is from the website parentfurther.com. Go to services together as a family. Participate in family-friendly events such as family volunteering. That's a really good one. This one's my favorite one. One, two, three, five, step five. Or point, next bullet point, whatever have you. Eat meals together as a family. This is one of my favorite, really. I turn all the devices off, TV off, phone off, whatever have you. Everything's off. We just have to entertain ourselves i guess or we have to communicate you you pretty much have to either that or it's a quiet time one of the best times of my day really especially if i've had a hard day at work or otherwise when we were sitting down on the table that's you know the kids don't know it maybe but just even listening to them talk about whatever makes my day really as a father and a husband i mean listening to my wife and my children they could even be arguing i mean it can only take a little bit but to me, that's music to my ears compared to all the stress that I could go through throughout the day. And I hope that, you know, you can understand what I'm talking about. You can benefit from this. Your family often will bond more if you can get out of the house and do something together where you don't know other people. So this is another suggestion. Actually, this is the last suggestion from uh, the website. Take a trip to another city, suburb or, or county and discover what's there. Go to a sporting event or a play. Visit a free museum. Spend some time in the park playing catch. Explore a playground across town. So all parents want to spend time with their kids, right? But it can be easy to lose sight of that. Sometimes. What we have to do is make accommodations in our lives so that we can spend a quality time with our children on a regular basis. Now, if you don't have children, spend quality time with a loved one. If you're single, Maybe single parent, spend quality time with other loved ones that you meaningfully want to spend time with. Visit Disneyland. <laughs> I wish. Oh, man. It takes a lot of money to get there, even on the mainland, right? But I agree that, yeah, that's a dream. Yes. But there are other things that you can do. Like right now, I'm going to go and watch them. I, we got a little cheap pool, like a $30 pool. And it's amazing how they keep themselves entertained with the swimming pool and i remember that growing up doesn't take a lot and i really like it because we don't have to well i should walk go to the beach wash them off from the sand watch out for the waves and watch out for the cars and sit where it's right here where i can um be on my device no i'm just kidding so i'm gonna go back to spend more quality time with them if you see us out and about we're probably gonna go eat somewhere well we have to eat but because uh dad's in charge of dinner um, someone else is going to do the cookie tonight. So please, if you got value out of this, which I hope you did, please share it. Please inbox me. Thank you for the in inbox messages for ideas of, uh, what you want to know more about. I can do the research, put it on me. You know, it benefits me too. So that's my whole thing. Thank you for joining me. Stay thankful and be blessed. Plant a little garden. I like that. I really like that. I, and that reminds me, I got to do some more yard work. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Anybody else? Surprise the kids at the airport. Oh, man. That was fun. I think we're still broke. Thanks, Divina. Take care. God bless.